you have this remarkable situation in which Hamish Lauterpacht is prosecuting the man who's directly responsible for the death of his own family. It could be said that modern human rights is descended very largely from the work of Hirsch Lauterpacht. Hirsch Lauterpacht was born in a small town called Zultiev in the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1897. He went to study at uh, what is today Lviv University and then at the University of Vienna. In 1945, he published an International Bill of Rights of Man, which was the first effort by an academic to set out the theory of human rights for all human beings. You can draw a direct uh, connection between Lauterpacht's book, Universal Declaration on Human Rights, and the European Convention on Human Rights. That same year in 1945, he was hired to be a member of the British prosecution team at the famous Nuremberg trial. The man that he prosecuted principally was Hans Frank, who was the governor general of occupied Poland, including the area in which his family remained behind. And we're talking about his mother, his father, his brother, his sister. They were all killed, essentially, on orders adopted by Hans Frank. It was he also who came up with the idea of including in the statute of Nuremberg the concept of crimes against humanity. And crimes against humanity on his conception was concerned with the international crime of killing large numbers of individuals. So the central focus of Lauterpacht's work was to seek to ensure for the first time that human beings as individuals have minimum rights under international law. And that was a revolutionary idea. It never happened before. I think the current crop of politicians have tended to forget what it was that happened in that period. People find a connection between Lauterpacht and what we're beginning to see on our streets now, the rise of nationalism, the rebirth of xenophobia. The reason people have an interest in reading about Lauterpacht is, I suppose, a hope. The experience he went through and the lessons that he drew from that offer a reminder as to what we should and should not be doing right now.